What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple just released macOS Monterey 12.4 over a month after the release of version 12.3.1. And along with this macOS update, we also got iOS and iPadOS 15.5, which I did make a video on. We also got tvOS 15.5, HomePodOS 15.5, and watchOS 8.6. But this video is all about the Mac, so we're gonna be talking about all of the new features and changes in this update, along with the bug fixes, the security updates, and more. All right, so starting off with the size of this update, you can see here it came in at about 2.3 gigabytes on my 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. And that is coming from version 12.3.1. So that size could be bigger if you did not update to that last version. If we check out the build number for this update, you can see here 12.4, go ahead and click on that. We can see the build number is 21F79. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what's new in this update. And the first thing is actually inside of our system preferences and into dock and menu bar. If we scroll down all the way close to the bottom to clock, we have something new in here. This right here where it says show date when space allows. So you can see this is what it looked like before. We just had this checkbox for show date, but now it says show date when space allows, always or never. And this of course is only for the 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pros with the notch. And that's basically going to just show the date when space allows up top right here. And just like with iOS, we also get some changes inside of the podcast application. So if we go into our podcast and if we go to one of our shows right here, then we go up top to the podcast and go to preference is right here under general you could see we have some changes right off the bat so before on the previous version 12.3.1 over here on the left hand side you could see it would just show automatic downloads enable when following but now we have a few other options in here under general and down at the bottom here is automatically download and this is where we can choose which episodes we would like to download of a specific podcast and it's going to delete the rest so for example if i wanted to download the five latest episodes per show i would select that and then you know my mac would automatically delete every other episode that is not the five latest so this is the same feature that we got with ios and ipad os 15.5 so that's new there and then under the playback section we have a few changes here as well so you can see on 12.3.1 it showed skip buttons and then like this big section right here and it showed forward and back with a lot of padding in between it looked really bad and then same here with the headphone control so now it makes it a little bit easier a little bit more condensed and it shows skip buttons and it shows the time first and then it shows forward back on the right hand side instead of the left hand side and headphone controls you can see it now just says next previous and forward back instead of next episode previous episode and skip forward skip back and also the verbiage down here explaining the headphone controls has been changed as well and then under the advanced section we used to have the library the saved episodes and the episode display but now it just shows episode display and you have the checkbox to hide played episodes and also the series suggestions box and then lastly if we wanted to change the settings for a specific podcast and not you know a global setting like in preferences if we go to the three dots right here and then go to settings we have a change in here as well for downloads where it says automatically download and it gives you the same options that we looked at before you can see this is what it looked like on previous versions of mac os now if you have a studio display mac os monterey 12.4 adds support for the 15.5 firmware for that display which is going to improve the webcam quality so you have to update to mac os version 12.4 first and then the update will populate just like another software update and you can download that for your studio display and it does definitely make the camera quality, the webcam quality, much better. And speaking of that studio display, if we go into our desktop and screensaver right here and then click on Apple and we scroll down, you will see that we have a brand new wallpaper right here, which is actually the one you've been seeing since I started this video. So that is the studio color is what Apple calls it. And that is a new wallpaper here available for everybody. You don't have to have a studio display. That was just what it was being marketed as. Universal control is also officially out of beta with this macOS 12.4 update along with iPad OS 15.5. So if you go into our displays right here and then tap on universal control, you will see that on the left hand side on previous versions of Mac OS, it would show beta under each one of these. But now with Mac OS Monterey 12.4, the beta has been removed, which means we are on a more stable, you know, an official release of universal control. So it should perform better in theory. I've not noticed any difference yet, but I will keep monitoring that. And in the music application, if you had issues with the playlists not syncing properly, that has been addressed here 
here with this latest update. So you should see a fix for the playlist sync. And if we take a look at the release notes here for macOS Monterey 12.4, we only have a few things. So we have a core foundation known issue, a store kit resolved issue, and a universal control known issue, where basically you need to be on macOS 12.4 and iOS or iPadOS 15.5 for this to work properly, but those are the only three things mentioned right here. But easily the most important thing of macOS Monterey 12.4 are the security patches, because just take a look at this. There are over 50 security patches with macOS Monterey 12.4. This is the most I've seen in a very long time. I've not seen this many patches in a single update in a long time. So if you're worried about the security, or if you're just you know aware of the security of your device, I would highly recommend updating to macOS Monterey 12.4 because this patches up a ton of security vulnerabilities. Now, I also get a lot of people still asking me about the memory leak issue. So I've not had the memory leak issue in a couple of versions now. I think version 12.3 fixed it for me, but if you're still having issues with your memory leaking, let me know down in the comments below because I know that config D file was still you know leaking memory for a lot of people. So let me know if that's still an issue for you or if it has been fixed here with this new version. Now, as far as the performance goes, performance is really good so far. So I haven't really noticed a big difference from 12.3 or 12.3.1, but you know, Safari browsing is just fine. The boot up times were, it seemed a little bit faster, you know, really nothing to complain about with that. I had no issues with Final Cut Pro, really no issues across the board. So I would not expect any type of decrease whatsoever with performance and it might even get better for you. And the same goes with battery life. So I never had any issues with battery life on 12.3 or 12.3.1, and I would not expect anything to change here with this latest update. But if anything does change, you know, if it gets a little bit better or a little bit worse, you know, if I've noticed anything at all with the battery life, I will mention it in my next Apple Weekly episode, which comes out on Saturday. So now should you update to macOS Monterey 12.4? And I say absolutely. This update doesn't include, you know, any game changing features, but it does include the most security patches I've seen in a long time. And for that alone, I would just go ahead and update as soon as possible. I don't see any way that this really breaks anything. But of course, you know, if you want to be on the safer side of things, I will talk more about this in my Apple Weekly episode coming up on Saturday. And then finally, let's discuss what to expect next from Apple. So next up, up, of course, it's going to be June 6th. That's going to be when we're going to see Mac OS 13. We don't know what Apple's going to call it. We're hearing rumors that's going to be Mac OS Mammoth, but we'll have to wait and see on that. But in the meantime, we can expect more Mac OS 12, you know, minor updates. And the next important one is likely going to be Mac OS 12.5. There could also be a 12.4.1 at some point in the next month or so if Apple deems it necessary. But that, of course, would be strictly for bug fixes. The next major release is going to be Mac OS 13 which we will see the first beta of down here on June 6th. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is Mac OS Monterey 12.4 and everything included with this update. If you found anything else out, or if you want to share your experience with this, let me know in a comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe for more Mac OS coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.